Hi everyone, this is Miss Brenner. I hope you're doing well and staying happy and healthy. Um, I'm recording this video to talk about your short story options for this week. This is for our apocalyptic unit. So along with finishing up dry, we are looking at some short story options. So as you can see here is the short story option folder. I have it open and the short story assignment folder that is blue. Uh, for one of these stories, you will complete the foreshadowing chart halfway through your story and also the reflection piece at the end of your story. As far as your story options, I have it broken apart into folders. These three folders pair with our previous short story option folder, which was environmental. So our options um, overall are going to be the environmental, which we've already done, so you're not doing that this week. And then we have a apocalyptic plague option, an apocalyptic war option, and an apocalyptic religious or otherworldly option. Those four categories will be used for research later on this week. As far as plague, which is our first folder here, uh, you have the option of reading either patient zero or speech sounds. Folders that have a star next to them, like speech sounds, is indicating to you that there are some form of adult content within the story. Now, what I determine as adult content may be different than what you determine as adult content, and considering I haven't been contacted that anything so far is um, beyond anybody's expectations as to what is acceptable in literature, um, I'm just going to mark it with a star to indicate, just so you know. Speech Sounds is a story by Octavia Butler. It's about a plague that hits the United States and wipes out uh, the human's ability to communicate verbally and to also read. So it's what if the world just lost all of its real ability to have any kind of connection with any other human being. Uh, that Once again, there's adult content in this. So if that makes you uncomfortable, don't pick this story. Patient Zero is a little bit different. It's a plague, uh, but it wipes out pretty much everybody that's infected with it, except for we have a character who seems to be immune, and his interactions with other people that are trying to help him and also save the planet. So these two stories fall into this category. Once again, you are picking one of these stories. The next category is the war category. So we have two different stories in this category. We have Flash Crash, which is told from the perspective of an AI robot that was programmed to work uh, with stock trading. And their uh, interpretation of how it feels to become more sentient and then to realize that the world is falling apart and that there may be a nuclear apocalypse on the fringe. Then we have Fade to White, which is if a nuclear apocalypse is already currently happening, uh, what society would look like, and how it's going to repopulate. The repopulating piece of this is why I put a star next to it. It is fairly graphic in the fact that um, it's going to use adult language, and there are adult situations where obviously people have to procreate, and that will be discussed in this story. So if that makes you uncomfortable, do not pick Fade to White. It's going to be very realistic in the fact that a nuclear apocalypse would cause human disfiguration, um, it would kill most people, it would create a social class hierarchy, those kinds of things. So if that makes you uncomfortable, do not pick this story. Religious and otherworldly uh, is exactly what it sounds like. So once again, if you don't have to read every single one of these stories, you do not have to read any of these categories if you don't like them. So if you want to avoid the war category completely, you don't have to pick one of those stories. That's why I've broken it apart into categories. So you are just picking one of these six stories for this week. Uh, the religious category, we have the end of the world as we know it, which is a focus on the uh, Christian aspect of the second coming. Now, this story is told in a way that um, even if you have no knowledge, prior knowledge, of the Christian views on the Second Coming, you will understand the story just fine. This story does not have any kind of adult language, however, it could be controversial. So, if that makes you uncomfortable, don't read it. 
Uh, and then Nightfall is pretty much the opposite, which is why I put Otherworldly. It is a religious perspective on a completely different planet that has different laws as far as uh, how the planet functions. So if you like elevated science fiction and you liked Isaac Asimov, who uh, wrote our AI stories that we were reading previously, you would enjoy Nightfall. This version of Nightfall is the shorter version. Isaac Asimov's version is the novella, and somebody transformed it into um, like a audio drama. And so I have the audio here and the transcript here. I highly recommend that if you pick this one, you do the audio with the transcript. Just reading the transcript is going to be a little bit confusing because there's sound effects and other things that clue you in as to what's happening and like voice inflection. This story is going to be about another planet that has similar uh, physics to our own planet. However, it's never night there. They have several suns, and so they've never experienced darkness in any form. Um, they don't have or use uh, like light bulbs or other ways to create light because they don't have a need for it. They've always had light on their planet since they have six suns. And it's a theoretical, if there should ever not be light, what would happen? So that's why it's called Nightfall. So those are our different options for this week. Once again, you are only picking one of the six to read. And then this is going to end up leading into a research assignment that we are going to talk about in the Next Direction video. If you end up not liking the story you picked, keep in mind that you do not have to do research on that story. This is just a reading option, and you must complete the reading option. But if you end up not liking your story, there will be other options for you to do research. All right. If you have questions for me, please feel free to send me an email. I'd be happy to help you, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.